just receive your glow forge, they ask you to give it a name. We named ours George. Since then, we've really started to love him, but he has a longer name now. George the Slow Forge. I am excited about some of the things we have been able to make. But not so excited with how long it takes to make them. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Janet. We're with Fleming Originals. And we're putting the Glow Forge Aura to the test. That is real time, and it is slow. One thing we've noticed as you look around the internet, no one talks about the time it takes. So, is it fast enough for a small business? This simple cut on quarter inch plywood took one hour and 39 minutes. Using thinner materials can cut down that time. The same cut on eighth inch maple proof grade plywood cuts the time down to 40 minutes and 33 seconds. And you may do well to focus on smaller items. You can cut more of them in less time or more of them in a batch. You can cut a pair of earrings in 10 minutes and 14 seconds or four pairs in 40 minutes and 41 seconds. That's not a huge time savings, but with the prep time and the time it takes the Glowforge to read the materials, the savings add up. We've noticed that the complexity of the cuts and the thickness of material can increase the time exponentially. The next test was another sign with more detail, and it took 3 hours and 11 minutes. Quick disclaimer, these may not be the most efficient settings for the quarter inch wood that you find. It takes about the same amount of time to cut thick basswood as it does to cut light maple, so the hardness of your wood really does make a tremendous difference. Project 4, Acrylic Keychains. The Aura finished 3 keychains in 30 minutes 37 seconds, doubling the keychains more than double the time. The Aura completed six keychains in one hour, 16 minutes. Project number five, Fleet Coasters. You will certainly find a lot of quick engraving projects for the Aura online. This is more intricate and it does a great job with engraving. Be sure to check your processing times. One Cardinal completed in 17 minutes, 34 seconds. Two Cardinals took one hour, 11 minutes. Four Cardinals took two hours and 23 minutes. This is one time when it would be quicker to do them one at a time. We are really pleased with the way it turned out though. Project number six, an intricate ornament. We really do like this ornament, but the caning took forever. You can only make two of these at a time on a 12 by 12 piece of material. So that's another issue. One ornament on light proof grade maple took 59 minutes and 24 seconds. Would you take 59 minutes to make one ornament? Let us know in the comments. Actually, one hour is not that bad. Using the settings for my non-proof grade quarter inch generic hardwood plywood, it took nearly three hours. Okay, that's a long time for one four inch ornament. I can totally see why one would want to save up for a faster one. We've heard estimates that it's 50% slower and 90% slower. We're pretty sure it's the 90% slower. As long as the laser cutter is not your primary tool, we believe that it is completely possible to add the Glowforge Aura as a valuable piece of your crafting business. And it's fun. It is fun. As a small business or a micro business, you're gonna wanna use that time to your advantage. You can work on other projects you've already cut and get them sale ready. Because the Glowforge should not be unattended while running, the slower processing times and some careful planning should allow you plenty of time to finish one batch of projects while the laser is working on the next batch. We fully acknowledge that this will be a very frustrating part of this machine. However, the lower cost makes us willing to work with it. Thank you for joining us and follow for more.